tool assembly. In the world of freeform injection, we'll bring you from the solutions that are required in order to, well, in this case, stabilize the core. It may also be to generate a perfectly smooth inner channel. We use pins a lot uh, as part of the printed tooling, both for stability, but of course also to create specific features. So what we see here is a mold that will be used to create a procedure for the Danish World Class athlete Peter Rosenmeier. It's a mold that's going to receive uh, carbon filled PPA at a temperature of 350 degrees C. And for that reason, uh, well, we've decided to reinforce it just slightly. So what you see here is a metal pin that runs through the entire core of the mold to keep it stable while we inject the material. In addition, we have added a few uh, cores that are also intended to keep the mold in place. The mold will be filled using this little machine, it's a 50 ton cast methane. And we are going to be using a metal frame like this one for keeping the mold stable. As you can see here, we've got some screw holes. We add screws in order to keep the mold together. Looks like this. And all these efforts are needed to ensure that we get a precise and highly repeatable result when we inject. For projects like this one that are a little outside the ordinary, we are using slightly more force than we would normally do. But the mold needs to have a very, very tight fit in the mold frame, otherwise we will inevitably wind up with a bulging that will not uh, enhance the fit. Yep. So, first shot with the uh, Generation 3 mold. Clamp. And the cooling. To make sure that the material is consolidated before we eject. And emerging. And what we have here is the result. <laughs> well, excited to see what comes out of this one. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the first fully molded prosthesis that has come out of a freeform injection molding process. This one is for Mr. Peter Rosenmeier, world class table tennis athlete. And it's a pretty significant moment in the history of Badifat. Shows what can be done on a mass personalization if you have access to the right materials and the right platform.